Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about emails. This program is used to make online presentations. It's a mix of PowerPoint and Prezi. So this is the start page. You can change the language from here, but I'm going to stick with the English language. If you don't have an account, you can easily create one using only your email address and click sign up. But since I have one, I'm going to click on login, enter my email, my password and click login. Once you log in, you will see this page, which is divided into two parts. This part on the left is all about your profile. You can edit your profile from here. Change your name, email, location, even the photo. And once you change it, you click Save Changes. The other part on the right is all about the presentation. Under Mine, you're going to find the presentations you've already created. I've created uh, five presentations, so here they are. Under Share, you will find the presentations other people are, co are collaborated on with you and under explore you will find presentations created by others so if you need any ideas regarding your topic just type it here in the search engine I'm gonna type uh, fashion and different results will appear as you can see, there are three different presentation, uh, presentations regarding the same topic. Now let's talk about the most important thing, which is creating new presentation. I'm going to click on my create new presentation. Once you click on it, a page full of different templates uh, will appear. These templates are divided depending on their topic business education lifestyle flyer i'm going to choose lifestyle by clicking on the template the themes available will appear so uh, some templates has different themes some has uh, some have none like only one theme uh, by placing the mouse on the template, a sample presentation will uh, will be shown so you can visualize the result of your presentation. I'm going to go with fashion and click right here. Now the template is ready to be used. You can edit everything on this template. We're going to start with the text. Instead of fashion changes, I'm going to type fashion icons. Not only can you change the text, but you can also edit this text from the, the edit bar, which will appear once you click on the text. You can choose if you want it to be title, subtitle, highlight, text, or text. I'm going to choose title. As you can see, the whole text has changed. You can change the size of the text. You can make it bold. You can change the color. So regarding the color, um, you don't have the freedom to choose any color. Uh, the program offers you certain colors for each template. So your choices are limited. For this template, I only have a white or black color. So the, uh, the typing will be clear. You can make a, a list. You can add an audio from your uh, device or you can place the link right here and click add. You can add the text other than the ones available um, in the template. You can add an image. 
from your computer or you can place the link also right here you can add a video from your device uh, in case you don't have the video on your device you can paste the link here and click add so as you can see the video uh, is here so uh, the video will be played uh, once you present your presentation you can uh, also add a shape or a chart as for the charts they are ready like the most common used charts are ready you just have to fill uh, up with your information right here okay and click add and the same shape that you chose um, either column or a line or whatever shape you have cha you have uh, chosen will be uh, shown on the slide to add a new slide click right here there are different themes related uh, to the same uh, template you've already chosen so I'm gonna choose this one okay I'm gonna delete this from here I'm gonna also delete this one from here also so if, if you change your mind about anything you have uh, changed you click undo and here they are from copy right here you can copy a text an image a video anything you can also copy a whole slide so you click on nothing and then click copy okay and click paste as you can see I have the same slide to delete uh, to delete this slide you click delete from right here okay from the settings you can uh, change the duration of the uh, slide so I'm gonna type one second and click apply to all slides and apply okay so every slide in this presentation will be played for one second only if you want to play your presentation click on play see the slides have uh, lasted for only one second From the options right here, you can duplicate the presentation, you can download it, you can print it, you can also translate the whole uh, presentation. How amazing is that? I mean, you just click translate and choose um, Chinese. So, as you can see, the whole presentation has been translated to the Chinese language so it's it's much easier than um, translating every uh, line in Google Translate right to go back to the previous page click on uh, this icon okay if there is a check on save that means uh, your presentation has been saved if you want to return to the start page, click on the image logo right here. So this is the uh, presentation we just created. From the lock icon right here, so under share, you can uh, enter an email and send the presentation to the email. Uh, the link to your 
presentation is also available here. You can copy it and paste it whatever you want. Under privacy, you can uh, choose if you want your presentation to be uh, public or private, depending on your needs, of course. On the left here, um, when you click on show all, it will show all your presentations. If you click on private, it will show only your private presentations. Uh, since I have no private presentations, there is nothing in here. Under public, it will show only uh, the presentation that you, uh, that you chose it to be public. Since all my presentations are public, you can find them right here. And that's it. Thank you for listening.